because the landslide fell into the Toodle River Valley, over 25 square miles of new landscape was developed. Some places up to 600 feet thick. On top of the debris field, layers of ash and pumice were deposited. The lush valley became a gray wasteland, similar to the moon. After the major volcanic activity in 1980, the mountain went quiet for a couple of years. During this time, snow and ice accumulated in the crater. Then, in March of 1982, the mountain came alive again. The large amount of snow and ice melted in the crater and broke through the fresh landscape. It carved two huge canyons, Lewitt Canyon and Step Canyon, with depths up to 600 feet. Not only did it erode through the ash deposits, but also through 100 feet of solid rock from lava flows thought to be about 500 years old. The water then came cascading down the flanks of the mountain and into the valley. When it reached a large pit left from a glacier steam explosion, the water pooled and was dammed up to a depth of 125 feet across the valley floor. The mud flow eventually broke through the dam and kept flowing to the west down the Toodle River Valley, carving canyons as it went. What the mud flow left behind stunned scientists around the world. Just like a dam you might build at the beach, when a dam breaks through soft soil like sand or ash, the water carves through these materials very quickly, leaving canyons and channels. As scientists went into these canyons, they studied the newly formed strata and were amazed. Thank you.